AEMC instruments, PEL 102 and 103, power and energy loggers, include an 8.4 volt nickel metal hydride battery pack for backup power. This battery, shown on the screen, can be replaced by the user. This video explains how to do this. Note that replacing the battery in the pedal is not a complicated process, but it must be performed carefully and in strict accordance with the procedures described in this video. Any variation could result in damage to the instrument. If you are unsure about performing this procedure, return the pedal to AEMC for battery replacement. Also note that this battery should only need to be replaced every three or four years or so in normal use. Before you begin, be sure that you have access to a clean work surface free of debris, water, and other possible contaminants. This surface should be well lighted and provide sufficient room in which to work. You will also need the following. A replacement battery pack, catalog number 2137.75. You can order this online through the website shown on the screen. A Torx T10 screwdriver. This type of screwdriver is also known as a star screwdriver. Tape, such as masking, electrical, or other common type. Optionally, a small, non-conductive implement, such as a drink stirring stick or toothpick, will be useful. To replace the battery in the PEL 102 or 103, disconnect the instrument from all electrical sources and sensor probes. Then follow these steps. Start by applying tape to the control buttons on the PEL front panel. This tape will ensure that the buttons remain in place when you remove the PEL's front cover from the back cover. Then tape the end plates to the back cover, as shown on the screen. This helps ensure that the PEL's end plates remain attached to the back cover when you remove the front cover. Turn over the PEL and locate the six fastening screws on the back of the instrument. Using the Torx T10 screwdriver, remove these fastening screws. Carefully separate the front cover of the PEL from the back cover. Typically, the two covers fit together very snugly, so it may be difficult at first to separate them. One way to do this is to turn the instrument on its side and then carefully separate each corner in turn, starting with the bottom right corner. Pull the covers apart ensuring the end plate remains attached to the back cover. Do not allow either the top or bottom end plate to become separated from the back cover because this may damage the PEL input and connection terminals, requiring that the instrument be sent to AEMC for repair. With the front cover removed, locate the battery pack inside the PEL. Gently remove and unplug the battery. A small implement such as a drink stirring stick, as shown on the screen, can be useful for doing this. Inspect the plug of the replacement battery pack and note the position of the connector pins. Position the plug with the connector pins facing away from the battery pack compartment. In the example shown on the screen, the pins are facing in the direction indicated by the arrow. Then very carefully insert the plug by gently pushing it into the socket within the pell. There is very little room for this procedure, so an implement such as a drink stirring stick or toothpick may be helpful in ensuring the plug is securely inserted. The PEL instrument will likely turn on when you plug in the connector. This can be disregarded. Place the replacement battery into the compartment provided for it within the PEL. When doing this, ensure that the battery's connector wires are positioned as shown in the illustration on the left. Be sure the wires do not cross over the top of the post as shown on the right. If the wires are placed over the post, they will likely be damaged when you replace the front cover. Perform a final inspection of the interior of the PEL to ensure no foreign object or debris has fallen inside. Then replace the front cover, carefully ensuring that it is securely in place. Turn the PEL over and replace the six fastening screws removed earlier. Finally, remove the tape applied at the beginning of this procedure. The PEL is now ready for operation. This concludes our video explaining how to replace the battery in a PEL 102 or PEL 103 instrument. For more videos about AEMC products, please visit our YouTube channel.